I'm Thor Moody, Corporate Product and Education Training Specialist for Delorier. I'm here to talk to you today about how to strip a concrete test cylinder mold off a concrete test cylinder. We offer two styles of stripping tools. This T-handle stripping tool allows you to just get a little bit better purchase on this, get both hands on it so that you can get a nice smooth cut. And this, the traditional stripping tool, which is basically like a giant screwdriver, but it's got a sharp edge and a cutting element on the bottom here. So we'll start with the uh, traditional one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stabilize the cylinder with our foot. I'm not gonna stand on it. I'm just gonna keep it in place so it doesn't get away from me. And I'm gonna use this rubber mallet and I'm gonna get this started just like that. And then I'm gonna get both hands on it and I'm gonna give it a strong, steady push. And we're gonna finish it off like that. Now, what a lot of people do is they stop right there and we'll take this, pry this open and turn it over. And there we go. And what we end up with is a nice, clean test specimen. Now to make that a little easier, what we can do is strip both sides. It'll come out of the mold a little simpler. So we'll use the T-handle one so you can see how that's done. And we're gonna do it the same way. We're gonna start it with the rubber mallet. We're gonna tamp this to get through the rim like that. Now we can get both hands on this. And these have been in the molds for a while, so they're pretty stiff. So we're gonna keep going with the mallet. All the way through. Now what I'm gonna do is do this 180 degrees and I'm gonna do the other side. Now we've stripped both sides of this mold and you can see how much more easily this is gonna come out. And there we go. Nice and smooth, ready to go. We've got some six by 12s here as well. So we'll go ahead and strip those for you. We'll start this. Notice this is a lot more stable than that little four by eight. So I only really need to be in position to hold this once I've got it started. We're just gonna give it a good push. All the way to the bottom. We'll grab this and open it. Flip it over. And there we go. Good finish, ready to go in the curing tank or the fog room. We'll try the T-handle. We'll do both sides of this one. We'll get it started with the rubber mallet. Now we can get on this with both hands. We'll flip this around. And there we go. And that comes off nice and clean. These stripped molds will nest together nicely so that they don't take up a lot of space.